gonna be Cabo and Naj gonna slam down Bachupas immediately swarming him with a full army of the undeads as Cabo got himself full incarnation wall gonna use try to see if he can escape this undead horde wall falling off in a little bit here may have to go for that uh heart of the wild I don't know if that'll be enough though is it going to be Gargoyle in the air, ready to barrage him? But Gargoyle having a hard time swinging around towards Cowboy Nodge. The Undead Snow are doing pretty good work, the rest of them. Cowboy does go in for a bit of a rude onto Chill Pills, unless he got himself Wraith Walk. I don't think there's much you can do about it. Trying to see if he can go for a bit of a Shadow Meld. I think Cowboy Nodge realized that there definitely has to be a Shadow Meld on that guy. Full army joining back in for Cowboy Nodge. As long as he, if he can maybe CC the full army of the Undeads, maybe he'll be in a good spot. Rude by the main fed. Try to see if he can go for an intro there catboy with a bit of a bark skin bear form friends of region trying to see if he gives some recovery as the army of the dead the ghouls the scourge the young the zombies they're just not letting him recover whatsoever he's trying to go for healing but it's having a very hard time fully recovering maybe a rejuve maybe a swift man behind the pillar would work chills does that a pop in his main goal just to give himself a little bit of health as well it's going to be a game of blades versus undead pets a bit of a cat and mouse here as the two are trying to see if we could do damage to each other without really being in combat for catboy no she doesn't really want to be in melee he doesn't really want to get hit for chopas he needs to stay in combat in order to get any kind of healing in order to get any kind of value double stun to catboy notch could be in a bad spot does he go for a big heal trying to go for a main maybe has a root onto chopas trying to see if he can root one of the pets i think of not of uh chills but it's going to be a lots of those pets attacking them all surrounding him does chill play into soul reaper because these pets are able to get catboy notch pretty low but i'm wondering if like well placed soul reaper as the pets coalesce around him get him into a critical condition i wonder if that's enough to end up taking him out Cap boy does end up going for the heart of the wild which is going to make him more effective in any of the roles on inside of cat form maybe chopas has some more cooldowns coming up gonna be msl after it just sounds like cabinage no healing that's what friends of region does not need mana or silence in order to be able to get him somewhere that bear heal chopas i no help whatsoever does have a couple of bleeds on him try to go for the group you ain't get the feral back in looking for more death strikes back to back Maim does have a trick for it root to follow cabinage is gonna try to see if he can back up behind the pillow does have an incarnation of the radium that's gonna be cabinage with a full wall trying to see if he can make a play full frenzy out to chills where the main run after is it gonna be enough to try to see if you can avoid him feral form or travel form leap it away it looks like chopo is just completely blood up i think it's over just needed to play the long game of bleeding that guy up Got himself full bleeds, but it's kind of away from any kind of pillars. Bash onto Amatomic, who does go in for a bit of that uh, Crusader, uh, not Crusader Strike, Warbreaker maybe? Mad damage on Cabo Nosh, does he escape it? Is this going to be over for the Druid? Try to see if he can get himself a heal. Oh, it does get executed though. That is super unfortunate. Who would win? One Feral Druid to get his bleed in the entire game, or one angry boy with a big sword? <laughs> it looks like Amatomic was the play. Try to see if we can avoid Chicago. Do you see how bleeds on him? He's trying to play into that second win. As long as he doesn't take damage to his hellbar for like six seconds, he can start healing. Blaze him to follow, trying to avoid Chicago. Does not get a heal at all. Maybe Amatomi can get himself a heal through impending victories and stuff, like off of the pets, but that's about all I can really think of. I think at this point you have to start hitting maybe like the Earth Elemental, because you're not getting any heals whatsoever. But if you can maybe get an execute on one of these pets, maybe that'll give you a heal. Chicago does get a random proc of ascendance, lots of damage, lightning lasso onto Amatomic, who does have a trigger for it, leaping away. But definitely needs some kind of a heal. Maybe, I was gonna say, maybe you could use the Dark Iron Racial to remove and shed the flame shock on him. But that's kinda the cooldown for that is gone. Maybe he can get counter aggressive with Chicago. He just needs to get a proper stun and then go in for a big Warbreaker, Colossus Smash, or Avatar combo, but I think it's over. Yeah. Try to see if he can make a play. But there's only so much you can really do with Light Messiah gonna be up next. Charge it out towards Chicago. Gonna be mad ascendants for Chicago. As it get hit by blind from Light Messiah. So mad damage by the shaman. Forcing our bubble out of the paladin. And Chicago trying to use that wall with Ghost Raptor form to try to see if they can just waddle away from the Pallium. Live Messiah, full wings blaring, wants to make some damage happen, but that bubble had to play super defensive, man. It's still on the back foot since Light Lasso is able to use the human Rachel to break out of the sun effect, but is not really able to get away from Chicago quite easily. You either gotta commit the offense or defense, and I think he's trying to figure out if he wants to do one or the other. Got himself what looks like a random proc of Seraphim. Light Messiah, no help whatsoever still. Hand of Freedom, 40% dampening, not giving him much of breathing room though. Does he have a stun? Does he have a blind? Does he have anything? Chicago has a trigger back up. So maybe go with a blind on the opener. 
and then maybe follow up with a stun after Chicago Trinkets? Potentially. Chicago does have a ground totem ahead of time. Blessing of protection for Light Messiah. Chicago able to bypass it with the Light Lassa, not giving this paladin even a chance. I feel like the Blessing of Protection was like one of those moves where I got nothing. I gotta use something. I wanna try to make a play. At least I got myself some form of immunity. But I guess it's Shaman. The Lightning Lassa just bypasses entirely. Stun by Zabuza. Hoping to make some damage happen. Wings of the Raid. Chicago using their incredible mobility to just walk away from the Pali. Knocking him away from the pillow. Zabuza just not really left with a lot that he could really work here. I for an eye for Zabuza. May not have much to work with here. Blood on Chicago does not have a trinket anymore. Was that a totem? Which totem was it? I keep thinking that's a grounding totem. Every time I see the blue totem, I keep thinking it's a grounding totem. Bubble for Zabuza. That totem just keeps confusing me every single time, man. I can't be the only one, right? Chicago looking to wait until the bubble is down, puncture through the damage, through the shielding of the Paladin, and able to take him down with the Balkas. Last one left over for the team one, dropping on a big gate, charging right in. Looks like not playing a pet play style? Oh no, he does play with Seculus, never mind. Chicago hoping to go for a couple of storm strikes. Da Valkas with the stun. So far being used pretty early on. Knock back on the second for just a second. Bonza fell. Doesn't complete it. He's gonna be dropping on Inferno as well. That's a lot of passive pressure on Chicago. If you can get a couple more portals as well. Like you're gonna have him in such a bad spot. Like him actually could be pretty rough. Okay, is about to follow him. That's how we wall for this one. That's gonna be reflect up. Da Valkas trying to go for another Chaos Bolt. As long as he doesn't get a trouble by Chicago, he'll be in a case spot actually. He's gonna go for that door Romish Rachel in order to break out of that route real quickly. Like the last one by Chicago right after. Try to see if he can just like last one from around the corner. That still is an infernal just doing so much extra pressure on you. Second miss CC, Shadow Fury, Chaos Bolt may just have him. I think it's over. Oh, Da Valkas just ended up burning through him with flavor of the month. Look to end the deal right then and there into a spear does get to drink the spear running out you can see the fear in the eyes of the snow just trying to bail out of there just running look at him go he's just a little bit panicked every time you jump like your facial expression changes from like when you're running you got like a heroic expression when you're jumping it's like oh my god wild eyed and everything flavor was not able to take down diabolical but still has a lot of damage behind him still lots of potential output here can Diabolicus turn around though? Because they got Flavor, they got Page, they got Demoniac. Maybe it could somehow come back. But this idea putting Storm Bolt on Diabolicus with a Colossal Mash has to reflect, but what are you going to reflect from a Warrior? Not a lot. Big charge, big execute, back draft, another charge. A second MC catches him mid charge. Does have a portal around the corner. One more execute is all he needs. Oh, <laughs> that is so much damage. My god. It did really good though. It did really, really, really good. But man, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough.